welcome to Alex Kids Fun! Today, we're gonna have a fun science experiment about gravity. All you need is a couple objects, a tray like this, or something similar, and about three cups of flour. I pick the biggest object. And lightest object. I pick the heaviest object, a rock. Yay! And that's what really matters to me. Most objects that have white in them, for some reason. <laughs> First, we need to put the flower in the tray because Dropping objects on glass won't make any sense, and it won't help us learn about gravity. Yeah, after we've dumped the flour, we're going to level it up with a spoon. That is leveling. You do this side and I'll do this side. Because you dumped on this side and I dumped on this side. Okay, so I do this. No, I try to make it flat and even. Everywhere. Once we pick the objects, well, we already have, now we're gonna get a journal, here, and a ruler to measure the diameter of the craters and their depth. So, we're gonna put a couple ups, we're gonna take a couple observations and jot down uh, uh, the size and stuff about the object. Now, I wonder which object object we should do first. I'm going to do this big ball first. Okay. Ready? What are you going to do first? I'm not sure. Oh, well, maybe a bouncy ball. But wait! Before we get started, I want to introduce you to this very interesting book where we got our gravity experiment ideas from. It's called Unofficial Minecraft STEM Lab for Kids by John Miller and Chris Forno Scott. Make sure that you stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm gonna show you this experiment in Minecraft. Real Minecraft, not just any Minecraft. This table here will help you record your observations and measurements. Plus, I really love when Minecraft and science are connected together. I'm gonna put it a bit high and I'm gonna drop it off. Let's see what happens. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. <laughs> the depth here like we expected now that we've measured the uh, depth and we're also going to measure the day meter a bit later. Hey, it went over here. I know. And the flower didn't even go everywhere like we expected. Yeah, I thought it would go here, 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 and everywhere. Probably because it's pretty mm, light. Put well, it back in. it turned white. And it made another hole here. Put it back in. Bounced. The and they're about the same depth. Yay! Come on. I'm gonna level this up while Alexandra's writing the measurements. Yeah, measurements. I think we need some flour added over here. Cause that sure made a big hole. I think I should make some more. Yeah, that's more smooth. This looks like cream cheese. Hey, what are All right, I think I know what we're gonna drop, what I'm gonna drop now that Alina smoothened it and I've finished writing down the stuff.
stuff about the bouncy ball. I'm going to drop the heaviest a rock. Ready. Steady. Poof. Ah, those will on my skirt. Wah, wah, wah. Time to measure. that we have and light is from oh, here. Wait. Uh huh. And wait, before you drop that, and remember so that I can measure the diameter and the crater because last time with the rock we had to drop the rock again to make another diameter. Make, well, so that I can mm. measure the diameter. Yeah. yeah. Well, that fell. Slower than the rock, but pretty quickly. I made this like weird hole over there. <laughs> this is made a shape, not a hole. <laughs> now, let's measure. It's over there. The diameter will be about a centimeter. The depth will be around five millimeters. Next, it's my turn again. I'm gonna drop a wooden block now. This is the first thing made of wood we're gonna drop because we've dropped a feather, a ball made of rubber, and a pure rock. Wee! Block. <laughs> a feather too. Oh, so uh, taking turns. So I'm next to you, 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 you. Measure time, measure time. It's not playtime here, we're no. doing an experiment. Okay. No, no, Grab I'll... it and drop it. Three. Ooh. Say woo. Drop a Mr. Dinosaur. Toy. I hope he doesn't get angry. And, and that's just and weird. Bite. And bite. Okay. <laughs> the crater depth of him was like three millimeters, and the diameter was two point two. All right. Hello everybody, welcome to my special Minecraft experiment world. We're gonna be doing some fun experiment in gravity today. I built these two towers of wool to help us do the experiment. That was some black concrete powder that will fall and, right, let's see, Ooh. Oopsie daisies, I wonder why in the world I did that? Oh wow, looks like that pig is interested too. But I think he's going for a walk now. Wee plop. Oh my god, that was so fast for a light item. I mean, block, because I didn't put an item up there. Silly me. Now are we setting it for another block. Let's try an anvil this time. Yeah, let's go for anvil. I love this. I love this. Okay, here we go. Trip, trip. And flop. Okay, a bit slower. Hmm, I wonder why though. It's a heavier item. Or maybe it's just because it's a video game. Well, let's try the next anvil. It's a Slightly damaged anvil, so I don't know if there will be a difference, but it's worth a shot. Okay, there's the lever right there. Pull it, pull it again, plop. All right, let's see. We got the, I'm gonna pick it up again for the next item. That's about the same speed, so in my 
observations, I think this slightly damaged anvil, well, this very damaged anvil, will fall at about the same speed. Right? Wee! Boom! Did it break totally? Oh no, there it is. I want to fall in that hole. Oof, that was close. Right, let's try gravel now. So, it's, it's our second last item here. Oh, this is so fun, everybody. I can't wait for the next Minecraft experiment, even though this one isn't over. And here we go. Okay, that gravel was a bit slower. So I guess gravel blocks are heavier than anvil blocks. Quite a surprising uh, observation. Right, finally, so last but not least, it's gonna be sand here. Gonna just pull that lever there, pull it again, and stop. Right, about the same speed as gravel. Well, that's it for the Minecraft experiment, everybody. Bye! Now that we've done the experiment about gravity, let's learn about gravity. First, what is gravity? Gravity is a constant force that pulls things down. So like an invisible giant holding everything together. Imagine what would happen if gravity wasn't there, like the giant. If it wasn't there, I can't really imagine what would happen. But everything will fly everywhere in a crash. I think we need to the space. Okay, so we've learned about gravity and done an experiment. Now, can you give us a couple real life um, examples of gravity? As the water falls on my head, <laughs> down from mountains and hills, the gravity pulls it, pulls it, pulls it down, so it becomes a waterfall rushing down, 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 down until it hits um, the sea and goes inside the sea. Um, hey, well, I love it when apples from apple trees fall into my hand. So can I that the gravity pulls it down. Can I have that apple, please? Oh, man, hey, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, more examples, more examples. All right, I have another example of gravity. This other example is always happening. When you jump, you don't just float away, right? That's because gravity pulls you back down. Or we would be flying right now. Yes. All right, now get some items from around your house and get a flower tray to do the experiment. Oh, and before you leave, Please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button. This will help you stay tuned for more fun experiments. Bye! Bye! Wee! Wee. Off the screen.